It's been difficult, you know, the 60s have been difficult and we've been, as a family, to, you know, to a very dark place. Losing a child is horrendous. Um, but the foundation, the charity work, the reason um, for being staying positive ha has helped. Um, and, you know, the, we're really excited about some, some of the plans that lie ahead. When you talk to people about Violet Beach and what they achieved, what do you say to them? Well, I think the... We wouldn't, I would not be sitting here now if it wasn't for the music. So for me, it isn't about the, 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 the tragedy, and it was a tragedy, but that won't define those boys and Craig. Um, what will define them is the music. It's just, you know, they, their, their legacy is that fabulous album, which, you know, thanks to Communion Records was captured. Um, so it's, it's about the music and it's, you know, those boys, those beautiful songs that Chris Leonard wrote um, are their legacy. And I think we should celebrate that. The music industry was rocked by their deaths. They were on the cusp of the big time. What does it mean to you to re-release that record, that album? Well, I think the, the fact that um, six years has passed, their music um, is loved by millions, but there are lots of people that haven't heard the music. So I think for us, as a, certainly for Rivers family, um, for us it's about getting the music out there so that more more people can hear it and can in, can enjoy it and share in their their I was going to say genius but I will say genius you know their fabulous songwriting and musical skills people still love their music yeah. and you've set up a foundation in your son's name how are you able to help young musicians well we set the foundation up in 2016 myself um, River step mum Shaz who is a dri the driving force I have to say that don't I she's the driving force behind behind the charity and River's siblings and we just wanted to do something and we didn't know at the start we didn't know where it would take us but we wanted to do something and make stuff happen um, and the simplest thing really was to work with the local schools and colleges in, in Warrington and award small bursaries to young people that didn't have a lot of money so that they could follow their dreams. And it's just kind of spiralled from there. So the recent link up with the Royal Northern College of Music is just, although it's, it's um, bigger than that, it's essentially that uh, that we're able just to give youngsters um, an amazing opportunity. And is that what the re-release of this first album well, the, is all about? Making sure that young people do yes, have that bump up. Yes, absolutely. Idea. So we we are we as a family want Rivers' um, portion of the royalties to go towards supporting the Royal Northern College of Music, who have set up something called um, Young Artists. And the Royal Northern College, you know, here in Manchester, have a have a have a traditional classical route where youngsters that are classically trained can go and um, have lessons on a Saturday morning. And what RNCM are doing, which I think is a brilliant idea, is they're doing that for now pop. So if you're a keyboard player, a singer, a guitarist, um, you will have the opportunity to go along to Royal Northern College on a Saturday. And we're, we're looking to avoid award um, full fee bursaries to youngsters from across the region um, to go along and have that opportunity. That would be an incredible oh, support fantastic. for young musicians. Absolutely. And what do you think River and the band would make of what you're doing? Well, R Riv, would, Riv would be, um, oh, Dad, really? You know, <laughs> that's, so, that's so uncool. Um, but, you know, he's, he's, I want his talent. And, uh, you know, I want the fact that he had once been with us for those 19 years, I want that to mean something. Um, and his family want, want, wants that to mean something. So I, I think he'd be dead proud. Ben. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you.